At the hearing, I was there because I'm the, the health officer for Peru. I had to testify as to the health risks of keeping the rats. It's very hard to say what risks there are. There are some illnesses that are carried by rats in this area. Those are bacterial infections. There are other illnesses that are potentially carried by rats and are carried by rats in other parts of the country, but not in the Northeast. And there is the question of uh, rabies, which is not a bacterium, but a virus. Strangely, rats appear to be relatively immune to rabies. But I think that sort of traditionally rats have been regarded as, as unclean and evidence of uncleanliness around us. Also, we know that rats increase in times of civil unrest. And so I think people are uneasy when they see a lot of rats around because it gives the impression of an unordered society and so it makes people uncomfortable. Uh, I went uh, about a week before the court, before the court action, and this is one of the things that helped for me to make my decision that he had to, he had to comply with them. It was not a, it was a choice of he either had to comply with them or they were going to take other steps and still make him comply with them, and then he'd end up being, uh, he'd lose his freedom. Mm -hmm. And he was not, I didn't, I, I still don't believe that he was um, to the point where he should lose his freedom. He's still competent to take care of himself, competent to, to live by himself. Are these rats a little overwhelming for you, sometimes? Well, yes and no. And how many do you think there are altogether? Well, I said um, on around 50 or okay. under 50. Under 50. It looks to me that right now, just with them scurrying around, the ones that are feeding, there's probably about 20 feeding, and there's another 20 or 30 running back and forth. Yeah. But I would seem, it would seem if they go away, there's always about 40 or 50 around. There must yeah. be more like 100 or so, do you think? I'm thinking of the ones, who are, the ones you see are either active or active. Would you prefer to be in a place that the rats weren't there all the time? No, I think it's good to have some of them around. I like, I do like them there. Actually. Yeah. You, are they getting a little overwhelming? Are there, are there too many of them now, well, do you I think, to take care of? I explained it. I think the, the truth is they reproduce very politely. They had only 10 this spring. Uh huh. So though rats are rumored to be very, very active in reproductive function, they had only 10, I think. Okay. So they're quite, frankly, intelligent, although... Uh, I suppose most people think animals are intelligent and therefore would take my remark for granted. And well, sometimes, um, they say they reproduce a lot. Do you think that they're... Well, that's why the, wouldn't they reproduce? The concept of the commonplace, I mean, you usually think of those kinds of things as being very active and reproductive things, but they're not. Okay. They said they'd be very, very good about it, and they had only 10, they say. They told you that? Yeah. Okay. We don't know how the voices manifest themselves because we're not schizophrenic, and it's impossible for the schizophrenic to explain to us what it is that's going on. And we have a shorthand that we say, yes, he hears voices, and the schizophrenic has, has short, a shorthand, which he says, I heard voices, and they told me to kill Grandpa, or they told me to look after these rats. But we don't know if do they hear the voice from out there or do they hear the voice from in here because we're not schizophrenic how did he appear in court um he tried to be as rational as possible and he would be rational for a while and then would digress into discussions about how these rats were souls in transition that he was looking after and um started to um, express more of his delusions. Most schizophrenics can suppress their delusions for a while when they know it's in their best interests. But they do so with some effort and, they, and 
the longer they try to suppress them, the harder it becomes for them. Not being a lawyer, I didn't realize you could do this, but in a civil case, you can call your opposition as your own witness. So our lawyer called Roland as a witness for the plaintiff, for the half of the plaintiff, and got him on the stand and asked him point blank. He says, you know, if the judge tells you to stop feeding the rats, will you stop feeding the rats? And Roland said, no, I can't stop feeding the rats. It's my moral obligation to, to take care of them while they're in transition. And you see there, these, these animals were in transition from one life to the other. And uh, some of them were elephants, and some of them were trout, and he had O.J. Simpson's leopard, uh, Sandra Day O'Connor's duck. Uh, you know, and there's no way he couldn't feed O.J. Simpson's leopard because he was taking care of him, you see. So uh, it became very obvious to the judge that the only way to do anything was to get him out of there. <laughs>